Alrighty, boys and girls, it's Charlie Six Sulu back again with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, it has got a new outfit. I look more normal than I've ever looked before. That is for sure. Definitely. Let's have some class. <laughs> Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Really long class. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond of all the dung in this class. I take it you're ready to learn. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Yes. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. So the always. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. <laughs> Use caution when casting it. Sure. Yeah. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Right, nice to... and steady wand movements. Oh, this Remember, one does not look the exploding charm is highly volatile. I still don't fail at this. Ugh, I'm too good. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice. Oh, nice, yes. Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Textbook execution. Bravo. Defender. Yes, Simon. Excellent. You have it well in hand. Nice. I do have another spell as well. Defender. So I can cut people. But now that we've gotten our repertoire of spells in, uh, let us head. To the divination classroom. Which it isn't very far, so we'll walk. Please tell me I can go this way. If not, I'll be sad. Good. E oh, if this. you put a foot wrong, it's just well. Pretty sure I miss that every time, but hey. Quiet! Whenever I get from the drunken school rules again! I'd like to learn that you're receiving good grades, <laughs> but no! What did I ever do to deserve this? <laughs> you are ungrateful, ungraceful, and frankly, unacademic. I am ashamed. <laughs> That was a <laughs> pleasant sounding conversation. Open the doors. Open the doors. Let me through. Let me through. Alright. Let us climb to the tallest tower. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's goblins. Goddammit, that there's another so fucking gobstone over there. Alright, let's find out what's going on. It's all her fault, none of it's mine. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. 
She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matebeleland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Okay. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. That's why they're I in every environment. It is because I can oh, sense danger and keep my wits about me. It's more like that other one because you don't really see gazelles in many environments. Were you born an animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. And the magical school that's better in Hogwarts than in every way. Uh, it's because we hear about it all the time. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It Not is. Really. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. That is a fair point. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. We're making good progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. That it was. That it very much was. Don't you fucking tell me there's somehow another Robstone up here. Oh, it has been a while. Oh wow, I did not real. that is really useful. Alright. Zero, one, two, three, five, that means one above. A weird testicle creature. Zero, one. I need three, which is a Hydra. Let me in. Let me in. Rebellion. This is interesting. There hasn't been one that's been like this. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Are 
Arithmancy Classroom. This classroom is where students learn about the magical properties of numbers and numerology. There are a great many options instead to spend the period counting mooncasts while nodding off at their desks. Okay. Let's play. Six. Then spider. Spider is near the... Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Eleven. So six. Newt. Seven one is unicorn. Getting a lot of nice things from this, I did not realize we All right, next one. All right, that was five, six, eleven, four puts it at testicle. Thirteen, zero, so I need a five. Spider. I want you to know, like, the first time I did this, it took me about an hour, hour and a half to do this. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Figure out what we're doing next. Talk to Deke. Oh, let's talk to Deke. Let's see how far he is and if I'm... Ooh, there's something up there, a hundred meters. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. But fucking damn it, where is it? Where the fuck is it? Because you say it every time. Where the fuck is this piece of shit? Rebellion! Heard it, I heard... Fucker, where is it? Bombard Fuck you! <sighs> Descender! Defender! Nope. None of those. I'd better keep an eye on high places you around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Stop Rebellion. saying that. Stop your fucking saying that. You mother fucker. Okay, what is that mission? It's more interesting than the one we got here. Okay, we won't know unless we do it. Ah. Uh. They're all the way over there. Okay, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm just gonna ignore that from now on. Never gonna touch it again. Let's get going. We... I think that's this mission, probably. Yeah, it is. I'm chasing my own tail. I might be a little animal, but... A little um, mangus. Oh, God, words Freaking. are difficult. Hello, Gallo. Forgot. Oh, I can't think. Sounds like I need I need something to drink. Scant your whiskey. You find your 
yourself taking certain ways to class based on the portraits you pass? I do. Nope, I just ignore them, unless it's the Spanish. Bobada! Defender! Nope, neither of those new spells are the ones. Oh, you hot random Hogwarts student, watch this. Watch this. Oh, he didn't watch it. He wasn't interested in the magic door. That just popped out of nowhere. I don't know why I ran here and just didn't teleport, because I would have done the same loading screen. I did need some time to waste. Yes. The Duke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Sure. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... Please say I give him a room. Okay. What the fuck is that? What the actual fuck oh. is that? Oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. Indeed, knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. Sure. I Deke. understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Well, to be honest with you, I don't have that item in the slightest anymore. Let's find this stupid-ass cave. Alright, where is this stupid-ass cave? I don't like where this cave is, because this is where all the undead were before. All right, let's party. This place has seen better days. Those are some scary spells. I think I shall wait till night. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Yes, there is.
Leo the lion. Oh. Eat yourself oh. off. You know you want to. We. Oh. Oh. All right. Begging you, please, 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 no crazies. No, back into the Forbidden Forest. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And it's spider spiders! I feel like there might be spiders here. Oh, it's also called the Spinner's Cavern. I wonder if there's spiders inside. I am... I'd be shocked if there was. Why the fuck? Dude, there's plenty of easier ways to get the leech juice. That's for sure. Goblins think they have a right. Rough. Bombarder. I'm pretty sure. Palsons have a worse. Tobbs, you missed your quota by three vials. You know what that means? It means my loyal customers will be missing their bottles of Seamus Shrinking Solution. Because of your foolish mistake, you will be given no food for a week. I also expect you to punish yourself accordingly. When I return for the next shipment, I'd best see bloodied bandages instead of your usual idiotic grin. If you do not meet your next quota, plus five extra vials, you will lose more than your food privileges. Tobbs' master is awful. Eh, he sounds fine. Tobbs? Yeah. Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Oh. Oh, god damn it. How the fuck do I get out of here? Ah, there. Okay, and that's repair. Okay, that's what I needed. I don't know if anything can be repaired there, so I'm just gonna jump it. Whee! Hello? Incendium. Hello? Anyone home? No? Bombarder! Defender! No. I heard that motherfucker. Where are you going? Defender! Bombarder! <sighs> Incendium! Oh. <laughs> Bombarder! Give it a chance to act.
<laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Down. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, fuck my life. <laughs> it looks as if Tobbs was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Defender! Bombarder! Crucial! You! Incendio! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, holy shit! Bombarda! Defendo! Incendio! I need a minute. <coughs> I need a minute. Fuck me. No. Bombarder. Defender. No. 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 <laughs> no. Bombarda. Defender. Incendium. Too soon. Ugh. I agree with you, friend. Agree. Defender. I swear to God, you better not. You. Better not. I hear the music. No. 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 Oh, 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 oh God. Oh God. No. Fuck you. Oh no. And 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 <laughs> Master, if you are looking for Tobbs, it seems he has tried to pull the leeches here and must move deeper into the cave. Tobbs hopes Master will wait for him to return. It's much too dangerous for Master to follow, and please be careful of spiders. Well, that didn't Tops. sound particularly reassuring. 
<laughs> I want out. Fucking out. Incendio. <laughs> Don't make me. Look at me. Defender. Bombarder. What the fuck? Is that Bombarder? Okay, I gotta kill some ants. Bombarder. Very useful. Very useful. Bombarder. Defender. Descender. like one way about this one. Ah, oh, shit, money. Okay, so I both lead the same direction. Incendio! Which means this way's the way to go. Incendio. Bombarda. Let me through. Oh no. I have a feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Master, if you find Tobbs' body, the big spider was too much. Tobbs has failed you and deserves the punishment. Tobbs feels weak, sleepy. Tobbs must. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. Ah, oh, he's fucked. Thank you for the leech juice, though. Oh, there's too many spiders. I... I don't know if I want to go out that way. Bombarder! I think that's the correct way out. Oh, 
thought there was a lot of gold here. I need a break. <laughs> Why? Why did you have to show the spiders there? Just don't show me any more spiders. Just, just don't. I'm not even scared of spiders. It's just the table looks familiar. <laughs> Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. I'll be honest. I'm not even scared of spiders. Normal spiders deal with no problem. It's just that they're so big. They fucking jump scare me every fucking time. What type of the spider is the size of a fucking German Shepherd. It yeets itself out of the ground. Oh my god. And some of them are bigger than us. Like, why the fuck? Why? Why do you have to do this to me? Just why? Fucking... Your friend's fucked. Fucked. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my. Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master. When he died, uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise a glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. Yeah, like we, like, oh God. Ourselves are treated far worse than goblins. It's a miracle those guys haven't risen up. Oh. I think we end this with some exploration. Because I swear to fucking god I'm gonna lose my mind. Or when you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. Nope, nope, we're not we're not, we're not learning how to breed beasts. Nope, I'm out. I'm out. That's that's it for me. Out, 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 out. This one this is PG. PG fucking game. You ain't breeding beast here. This isn't the fucking Bloodlines game that keeps popping up on my YouTube ads. Because all I do is look at mobile games. Alright, let's go to the fucking library. Come on. I need... I need to do something that will calm me down. Nope, that wasn't it. Was that it? Waste of an ability. Left my mind. This isn't it. That's the case, I'll just switch these in case I accidentally hit tab again. Don't want to waste the big boy. Uh, above? Fuck it. I'm just gonna cry in a corner as soon as this episode's done. Like, guy, I. Uh, <laughs> the cave is still getting to me, I'll be honest with you guys. Cave is still haunting my nightmares. It's only been five minutes. I'm already having nightmares. Fuck. Now you see why I don't do the armor zombie missions anymore. Fuck Incendium. that.
Incendio. I feel like that's not... Hold on. Let me try something. Uh, perhaps mind what you're doing there. No. I give up. I give up. I'll probably look that up at another time. I just... I can't. Let's go discover this underground harbor. <sighs> oh, I want you to know something, guys. It's not actually a top hat I'm wearing right now. This thing, this evil sun hat. This thing right here gives me extra damage against cursed targets, because we all know farmers are evil. That's why. Want you to know that. Well, let's see this underground. So this is the underground harbor. It actually looks really nice. Once more. Wow, that did not bounce at all. I'm um, shit. Revelio. The underground harbor, located deep beneath the immediate <laughs> viaduct courtyard, is a landing for boats. Delivering first year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. There you go. We never got to take one of these. Because we're not 14 years old. I'm pretty sure there's a mobile base game for Hogwarts that's like. goes through various years. I don't know what it's up to now. I I saw it at the beginning and went, ah, fuck it. I don't care. It's a little, little mobile game. This is more fun, I assume. Well, that one's right. Bombada. I was hoping that would work. Incendio. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I've gotten any room right. I shall inspect that next time. Oh, I didn't notice them in your ult now. It's a dragon. I need you, my friend. I do need you right now. Soothe in Spanish guitar. Alright, we'll end it with whatever the fuck she wants to teach us. Oh, the good news is my hands are no longer sh fucking shaking. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Rebellion. Looking for the book. You're my second favorite hero. Oh, it's this person. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, 
uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. This. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. Not just Crucio, None of the her. other students will try Crucio. it, no matter how many times I ask. Crucio. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Fucking oh, They don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Crucio. I'm just kidding. I a love quiz trivia. sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? I have no fucking idea. How the fuck should I know? The snake bird. No. Incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Do I sound Which like this to other is people? commonly referred to as liquid luck? I have no idea. But I feel like... Um, the Alley Hotsey draft. I'm afraid the answer was Felix Felicis. Since no it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Actually, that was an interesting one, that second one. Uh... The Founder's Relics. No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. I got none of them According right. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? I don't know any of these. Fuck me, man. This one. The bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the quaffle. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. Oh, I almost sneezed. False. Correct. I got one right. Polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race. It cannot be used to change species. I got one. Well, Fuck it right. I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. I got... And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Those were easy. What the fuck are the hard ones? I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? The Order of Merlin. No, that's incorrect. The answer was the Wizards' Council. The Wizards' Council disbanded in 1707 after the creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more structured government to support its enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? The Peruvian Vipertooth. Brilliant! Though the Viper Tooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in That's length, That's the smallest? It is also the fastest breed and feared for its venomous fangs. What the fuck? Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Hogsmeade. <laughs> Please be right. Quincy Hogg. No. The ah. answer was Hengist of Woodcroft. It is believed that Hengist used the Three Broomsticks Inn as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? A demi guys. Yes! While the hide ah. behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a lethefold? The knockback jinx. Actually, the answer was the Patronus charm. Really? The only known survivor of a Lethifold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Who published the law of elemental transfiguration? That one sounds fancy. The Vern de Montmorency. 
That's incorrect. The answer I was looking for was Gamp. One of the principal exceptions to Gamp's law is that food cannot be conjured, though it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Never tickle a sleeping dragon. Correct. In Latin, the Hogwarts motto is Draco Dormian's Numquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? I'm sorry, what? The Ashwinder. That's incorrect. The correct answer was the Rune's Paw. According to Parcel Mouths, each of the Rune's Paw's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the dreamer, and the right is the critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? I want you to know. I'm, I'm lost. You're right. The questions before were a lot fucking easier. Uh, Pyrenees. The Pyrenees. No. Ilvermorny is actually located on Mount Greylock. Yeah. The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Three. Amatentia. That's the answer. Amatentia Fuck. smells differently to every person according to what they find attractive, such as dusty book covers or. <clears throat> Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most difficult questions. No, oh, fuck it. I haven't beat myself up enough. I, uh, <laughs> Wonderful. I, I do admire your thirst The fact that knowledge. these weren't the worst, I'm Emily scared. the evil was killed in a duel against whom? Uh, Egbert. Egbert the Egregious. That's right. Emmerich gained notoriety for terrorizing villages in the south of England during the Middle Ages when he was the master of the Elder Wand. The if Deathly a chaser Hollows. keeps their hand on the quaffle as it goes through the goal, what foul are they committing? Have a sucking. That's right. Blatching is flying to intentionally collide with a player. Stooging is when two chasers knock the other team's keeper away from the goals so that a third chaser can score. A bite from a mackled malaclaw has the unusual side effect of causing what? Mackled malaclaw. It's one or three. I want to say web feet. Web feet. No, the answer was bad luck. So it's the one I Native to the European coastline, the effects of a malaclaw's bite can last up to a week. What plant excretes stink sap? Fluxweed. I'm afraid the correct answer was Mimbulus mimbletonia. The Mimbulus mimbletonia plant secretes start... stink sap as a defensive mechanism when touched. The pepper up potion evolved from a remedy created by which 12th century wizard? I started off so well. I started off so well. Bowman Wright. That's incorrect. The answer was Limfrid of Stinchcombe. Centuries later, Glover Hipworth would expand on Limfrid's previous work to create the pepper up potion we know today. In The Wizard and the Hopping Pot, what does the elder wizard leave for his son in the hopping pot? <laughs> a smaller pot. Incorrect. Uh. The answer was a single slipper. The story was created by Beedle the Bard. But there are a few versions. I won't spoil what the slipper was for if you haven't read it recently. Please the Snallygaster is native to which region of the world? Snallygaster. That sounds the Scottish. Scottish Highlands. No, the answer was North I'm America. Sure, that sounded the Scottish. The part bird, part reptile, is a distant relative of the Ockamy and has serrated fangs and a bulletproof hide. Who is the Muggle Knight featured in the Fountain of Fair Fortune? I'm sorry, a bulletproof... What? what? Could you imagine going hunting and some motherfucker comes out of you, you shoot it, and it's bulletproof? What? Sir Lancelot. No, the answer was Sir Luckless. That the sucks. three witches in the story are named Asher, Althida, and Amata. Oh, I adore a story that ends with a twist. 
The world's largest kelpie is also known by whatever name. The Loch Ness Monster. Correct. The Office of Misinformation has worked diligently to discredit any muggle evidence of the Kelpie's existence. Who was the first Minister for Magic? Fuck if I know. Ethelred the Everready. No, the first Minister was Ulick Gamp. Gamp's greatest legacy was the founding of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. It outlawed the unforgivable curses. You're about to have You've one. You've answered all of my questions. Ah, it's nice to know there's another student who appreciates the value of knowledge. You might not have got very many right, but I'm sure you learned something regardless. Yeah. Thank you for humoring me by participating. <laughs> I had a splendid time. I got eight right. I, I just want to I put the book enough. back on the pedestal for you. Want you to know. To make you look at this. The Book of Intermediate Transfiguration. The book designed to help guide the students who wish to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley often recommends it to advanced students as a bit of light reading. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend transfiguration. Let me crucio her. Bombarder. Fuck you. Let me jump off. I want you to know. Eight questions right. I, I, I thought those I thought the second questions were as hard as they would get. Fuck me with the third row. Like, how? How are you supposed to know those? Who the fuck knows those? Like... Oh my god. I... I want you. I want anyone to answer who sat through that I'd trivia. I better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Sat through that fucking trivia and managed to get more right. Akio. Well, I want to know Zenobia's gobstones. I want to know I how many would the fuss is about. I feel. I feel. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Taking we... owls a bit too literally, if you ask me. I want you to know that I... I... I got scared out of my mind, and now my mind is completely numb. So, I think this is where we end it. I, I, I just... My... My brain doesn't work at the moment. I, I got scared, and now I'm just confused. And it's a weird state to be in. So I will be signing off now. See you later.